Army football has joined the AAC. The official announcement is coming later today. Welcome to episode 318 of College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We cover everything in college football because we love everything in college football. And if you do as well, please subscribe to our ever-growing channel. Smash the like button if you like our content. Share the video with the family and friends. Army is joining the AAC as a football member only. Wow. Big news. We've been expecting it. It's been reported on by Ross Dellinger of Yahoo Sports and others a few weeks ago. And now it looks like it's finally going to happen. An announcement later today. Let's take a look first at Pete Thamel. Sources. The ACC officials voted Army into the league as a football only member. The sides are working toward Army joining the league starting in 2024. Dennis Dodd. Army will join the American in 2024. CBS Sports has confirmed. First conference since Conference USA from 1998 to 2005. That's the last time Army was a part of the conference. And they struggled. They struggled competitively against Conference USA back in the 1998 to 2005. Hopefully, Army will compete better off here in the AAC going into 2024. The football program has turned it around. But in the expanded college football playoff era, uh, it's just so much valuable to join a conference. There's not too many independent football programs. There's UConn, there's UMass, there's Notre Dame, and we believe the walls are closing in on Notre Dame, but that's a whole different story. Army... They get it done. They're joining the AAC. Now, there are were some hurdles, and it's going to be interesting. As this story gets reported on throughout the day and probably the next few days afterwards, it's interesting to see what type of decisions they made. Um, these are the hurdles that Ross Dellinger of Yahoo Sports talked about earlier, weeks ago, about Army joining the ACC. Army's television contract with CBS Sports Network extends through 2028 season. The network owns all the program's home games over that stretch. The AAC would be begin controlling Army's home game broadcasting rights starting in 2029 unless the league or its broadcasting partner ESPN comes to a financial settlement with CBS Sports Network. Could that happen? Did that happen? We don't know as of early this morning, Wednesday morning, October 25th. I think those were one of the, that's one issue I think we're going to be learning about more here in the coming hours. Another hurdle for Army to join the AAC was their future football schedules. As an independent, the Black Knights have more than 80 games scheduled in the coming years with a combined exit fee of more than $35 million. Dollars, sources tell Yahoo Sports. The school had enlisted scheduling guru Dave Brown in an effort to break free of the agreements or reschedule the games. There's a possibility that Army's scheduled opponents could conceivably play one another. So there were hurdles. They've been working through the last few weeks. Army and the AAC, the CBS Sports Network, possibly ESPN, everybody trying to get this done. One of the things we do know right now at this hour is Army's going to be playing Navy as a non-conference game. Yes, they are conference mates. They are conference mates in the AAC football. But they will be playing their game as a non-conference game. Last game of the season, Army versus Navy. But it's not that game. The result of that game is not going to count towards the AAC standings. Army and Navy could be playing each other the next week after in the AAC championship game. In theory, that would, could, very well could happen in the future. Army versus Navy. Now, my father, he was an Army guy. He would be saying, he always said, go Army, beat Navy. Now, Navy and Army are in the same 
conference in football. In football only. Big day for Army. Big day for the AAC. Put down your comments and thoughts in the comment section below the video. Do you think Army is going to be able to compete at a decent level in the AAC? I think they'll. I think they'll do just fine. And I think it's a good, very good addition for the AAC in football only. So congratulations to the AAC. Congratulations to Army. And let me just say for my father, go Army, beat Navy. Until next time, from all of us at PATC, to all of you, please, please, you all take great care of each other. Thank you so very much.